he gave them the water of wisdom to drink. It will be made strong in them and will not be moved. It will raise them up forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies. Endow your people with heavenly gifts so that, possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of our sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhort exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. 
Those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death, and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please stand for the reading of the Holy Gospel. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, sir, if you carried him away, Tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And then reported 
what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Easter. We just heard from the first reading and the gospel today, and they are two of my favorite readings. They are so beautiful. I like to call the first reading the whiplash reading. <laughs> It gives you this feeling of whiplash when you're reading it. Imagine, if you will, Peter standing up in front of the crowd and telling all of them, you just killed God. That's the worst news ever. That's the worst news anyone could receive. And of course they were cut to the heart. It was a big mistake, obviously. And it's very blunt and very direct way to say it. So the people receive this news, which is awful. But then Peter follows it up immediately afterwards by saying, well, don't worry. Jesus is able to give you eternal life inside of you. Jesus will give you the Holy Spirit and you will live forever. So the best news that the worst news ever is followed by the best news ever, which is why I call it the whiplash reading. Can you imagine the people in that crowd hearing that news? I killed God and then being given the good news and now I can have eternal life. I can receive the Holy Spirit inside of me. Who is God? On the one hand, I killed God and now I can have God inside me, the Holy Spirit. Wow. <laughs> it's amazing to think about the complete reversal that happens in that story. And it says at the end of that reading, 3,000 people were added that day, were baptized. Then we heard in the reading from the gospel today uh, the, the, the gospel I like to call hide and seek story. You know how kids love to play the game hide and seek, right? It's a favorite. Well, Jesus does that too. The king of the universe, the alpha and the omega. In the most important time in all of history, the first thing he does after he is resurrected is he plays hide and seek with his friends. He appears to Mary Magdalene, his friend, who is weeping and who is seeking him, who is grieving at his loss. And he doesn't recognize him yet. And he thinks, oh, this is going to be a good surprise. So Jesus asks her, woman, why are you weeping? He knows, of course he knows the answer to that question, but he's just playing that game of hide and seek with her. And so she explains why she's upset. And he calls her by name. And that's a surprise. What a happy surprise it is. You know, it's almost mean of Jesus to do it in this way, a little bit. But Mary Magdalene and Jesus were friends, so they were playing this game of hide and seek together. It's a sign of their intimate friendship that they had with each other. It's so simple and it's such a beautiful 
in such a human story. So, we need to remember that God loves to give us shocking surprises. Let us profess our faith together in the creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. For the church, may Christ's loving presence among us strengthen our witness to his resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. For the conversion and salvation of the whole world, let us pray to the Lord. For those plagued by doubt and uncertainty in their faith, May the Holy Spirit enlighten and console them. Let us pray to the Lord. For the community of faith gathered here, may the Lord grant us eyes to see and ears to hear him in all we do. Let us pray to the Lord. For the souls of all the faithful departed, may they, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty, ever-living God, we pray to you with confidence as we acknowledge our weakness and unite our poor prayers to the intercessions of St. Jude, St. Joseph, and especially with the most perfect prayer of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. We ask these things through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is great and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time, he was 
betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O oh God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever, amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold, him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. If you have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Hear us, almighty God. And as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. <laughs>